All right, here up at No Reserve, we have our uh, just killer custom uh, 95 Ford F-350. Uh, it's only got 58,000 miles. It's just under 59,000, actually about 58,980-some. So I uh, do with test drives and uh, videos and stuff. It might be at 59,000 but the time you uh, take ownership. Uh, this is a, just a killer look of truck. I've had this truck for pretty close to a year. Um, it's been a great advertising piece. It's an eye catcher to have out. Um, but it's time for her to go to her new home. We probably put a couple hundred miles on it. Um, and that's what this truck, I mean, really is just an eye catcher. Uh, the previous guy um, was in the military, so it's been around in a couple different states, but it's been in Washington um, for quite a few of the last years. And uh, the history board will be described in the ad and everything. Uh, this is the, the original color. Um, it's been repainted, but it's a bright cherry red. Uh, it's got a really, you know, it's got a good size lift on it. Um, it's got some 38 inch uh, gumbo tires, they're bias ply uh, with a ton of tread left. It's got some 12 inch wide polished aluminum forged uh, weld wheels that just look killer on this truck. Been repainted at one point, so it's got kind of the monochrome look. Um, he took it to a bunch of shows. There was a bunch of show plaques inside. There still is a couple, but we took the majority of them out. Um, and it's, you know, a nice paint job, but probably due to the size of it, um, they may not have been able to fit in a paint booth or something, or um, just because of the legwork. It's not an absolute show paint job, which, uh, to be honest with you, I wouldn't want on the truck this size just because you're bound to kick up some rocks. There's actually not any really rock chips or scratches on this truck. Uh, there's some imperfections with, like, um, maybe a little bit of dust in the paint here and there. Um, a couple of runs that you could wet sand and buff out. Uh, sun's coming out here a little bit, so it'll probably reflect a little bit different. So we're going to go ahead and get in and start showing you guys all the stuff, all the try to pinpoint all the imperfections as best as we can. Um, you know, obviously it's got the custom front bumper that's been painted to match. Uh, this is removable. This is just kind of put on there just for height restrictions per state. Um, it does have the CB antenna that's sitting inside the bed. I just don't like the look of them too much. But uh, we'll dive right in here. Uh, the camera doesn't grab them too good, but with the video it does seem to do better. Where you'll see a couple little runs there. I have a feeling I may have had a bug guard on it one time because it's a little rubbed. And slightly rubbed there. Um, it's got the super wide fender flares painted to match. Uh, slight little drip there. And you're going to find a couple of these spots. Little imperfections in the flares there. Light drip in the paint there, and it's the stuff like I mean, you step back, you don't even notice it, but you can get real close. I mean, if you're gonna be pinpointing, like I could probably spend an afternoon, um, maybe a weekend, just do the size of the truck. A couple little right there, a um, couple little right here, uh, and wet sand to buff this thing out and get. It's got good shine, good depth, um, but it's you know very slightly orange peely. Um, they weren't the you know they had a little orange peel from the factory anyway. But uh, the truck wasn't wasn't built to go off road. It was built if you need to go off road, it'll it'll handle. Uh, it's got the deep tinted windows, light little bubble in the tent there. Um, I, think the, I think this actually comes off. Yeah, it just comes off. So just something in the paint. No rust. Nice looking rockers. I mean, down here is actually in really good shape. It's worn a little bit there from the entries. Truck this size, you're bound to scuff it up here and there. A little uh, chip that was overlooked when it was painted. You know, you got a little drip there, drip there. Got a little drip there. And it's got diamond plate bed caps. It's got a spray liner underneath. It's, the spray liner is quite a few old, so it's a little bit, you know, got some use on it. It's got the, and these come off if you don't like them, but they're painted to match. Kind of looks cool. Little ding right there. Looks like it was there before paint. Good looking truck. I mean, it's got the 460 with, it's kind of an oddball truck. It uh, doesn't have the 460, apologize. It's got the uh, 351 5.8 with a five speed manual and air conditioning and a couple other goofy options. But so it's kind of an oddball truck. Um, I would expect it to have a 460 or a power stroke or something. But uh, it's got a ton of power, sounds really good. You know, the bumper's got some scuffs here and there, some stuff that was overlooked when it was painted. Probably previously a chrome bumper. And you got some chipping in the black here. That's an easy to fix. Tailgate's nice and straight. 
Um, it's got one little kind of really hard to see like I mean from here you don't see it but if I can get it around I mean there's just a slight little I don't know what it's not like crease or dent it's just kind of like a kind of like a little um, ripple I guess so to say in the sheet metal here's a dent got the covers again we'll go down here uh, but here's what I was talking about you'll get in some spots maybe some chips that were overlooked and here's a little bit uh, see hopefully you guys can see that but see those little kind of like things that stick out a couple little spots of dust in the paint you know here's like a looks like maybe a little critter a little bug got in there but uh, you know just probably due to the the size of this truck and the you know the the cost of labor ratio um, maybe the guys figured it wasn't worth it to have the thing show truck you know show painted before apparently he had a you know really uh, show you know show quality paint job on it before and decided to change it up or something but you know there's a couple little chips that were overlooked uh, but no, no you know besides that little spot in the rear corner of the bed there's no dents um, there's one ding I forgot about I think it's on the other side I'll carry you over there um, the higher you go on the truck, um, you know, I think it's uh, like on the roof, it needs to be, you know, polished out. It's all, or it might have the coverage might be a little bit thin. But again, you got some drips here, you know, whether the guy was, you know, running high with the gun or something like that. And it appears all this stuff was taken off when it was painted, but I could be wrong. They might have just done a good job. But uh, to me, the best thing for this thing is, you know, advertising and, oh, there's the little ding. A little real soft ding. You can kind of see it. It's small. No paint damage or nothing, but there's just a little guy there. Um, but it served well for us. I mean, we sold quite a few trucks just off people coming in on this thing. Uh, I'll jump up in here in a minute, but I'll get you down low while I can. You know, the rockers are all nice shape. No door hinge issues. No steering column issues. You know, um... I know a truck this size, you might be concerned about that, but it's got 410 gears. You know, it's got the skid plates all built down below. I'll show you guys that stuff. It's nice and clean and, you know, honest down below. I wouldn't say, you know, like sparkly clean, but uh, um, at the same time, you know, we didn't steam clean it and pressure wash it and all that stuff. It's got the vinyl mat, full bench seat front and rear. Rear, rear bench seat's in really nice shape. Maybe just a dirty in a couple of spots. I mean, the vinyl mat, you know, it's got some a couple little dirts in the pores. We cleaned it a few times, but the, down on the pores kind of just sticks sometimes. You know, no rust down in there. Dog legs. And the, and the door jams is original paint. It's just had a spray on the outside. You know, this is typical vinyl. It's starting to delaminate. It wasn't really made to last the longest. It's got, I would say, probably a six inch suspension lift, and I think about two inch body lift. And all the windows roll down nice. Fly windows lock good. So I'll go ahead and hop up in here. Trying to do it one handed is a job. Dash is in really nice shape. No cracks. Headliner's not sagging down. Still got the dome cover. Nice looking sun visors. It's got the CB and the original owner's manual and everything is in there, the remote the CD player. AC blows nice and cold, nice little Pioneer sound system. No cracks, and the vinyl's in good shape. This here, not too sure why this is here, but I'm kind of assuming with the body lift, maybe they had to trim a little bit of sheet metal. So, the uh, Cobra CB works, so I'll hop back inside. Take you guys around to the other side and then we'll hop underneath and then uh, to not keep the videos too long um, you know there's three videos there's a cold start and then a driving video so uh, hopefully you guys can view the cold start nice condition it's a non-smoker all the vinyls in good shape and this is uh, I hate to get rid of this truck um, <laughs> Just because I just love the look of it. It's, it's absolutely a blast to drive. Um, I've never had uh, another truck get more attention than this thing. Good shape, no cracking down here. 
Um, I think this is supposed to have some plastic covers on both sides, but it's missing on both sides. So, and then you hear some of the plaques. You know, 1995. Looks like he did a sh did a show. So this thing has been lifted since pretty much day one. 1999, he did a show. Um, there was a couple of the plaques on the other door, um, and then there was some kind of sitting up in the windows and stuff. But uh, I don't like clutter too much, so I took it out. A door shut nice. You know, like here, you know, you can see it's real shiny, and then it's just a little bit thinner up there. So. But in my honest opinion, um, this truck looks just killer. You know, just the way the stance it's got. Um, I'll take you down here. It's got some, you know, lift kit's done really well. Drives great. They're bias ply tires, so they do have to warm up a little bit. Um, if you've never done bias ply, um, you know, they're easy fix. You could just replace the tires once they go bald. Um, with some of the modern day, like Toyos and Nittos make all different sizes and, and wheels nowadays that you can get. It's got the skid plates. Everything was done well, undercoated, underside the building. You know, there's a little bit of dirt and stuff, but as you can see on the firewall pictures and the Cold Start video and stuff, that there's no mud caked up on that firewall. Once that happens, it's kind of, you, know, you can see the body lift. Might be a three inch body lift. You know, no leaks, heavy duty skid plates. You know, everything's heavy duty on this truck. So, all right, so this is going at no reserve. It's a 95, so it's OBD2 computer system, so if you ever have any issues, it's a lot easier to troubleshoot than uh, the OBD1. Um, you know, drives really nice and solid down the road. Um, like I said, when the tires first start out, bias spot tires, they'll get flat spots, and so you'll, you'll rattle a little bit, and then you know, kind of shake a little bit, and then they smooth out. It's just kind of, I've always had uh, Wheeler Scouts and uh, big lifted trucks, so something I'm used to, if you've never had a bias ply truck with tires this size it does take a little bit getting used to but once you know once you're used to it it's kind of um kind of comes as part of your drive but uh also getting in and out of this truck one hand it can be a job but uh I mean, it's kind of surprising it's a it's a good sized truck but once you kind of get used to it after a couple days it's kind of just hop in and hop out so all right so please ask any questions and hopefully you guys can view all the videos and uh, sorry if this one was a little long. <laughs>